talk about these buffing, these buffers real quick. Standard, uh, what we have, everything we have in this booth is American. We do not have any cut rate, quality, ruined products where they cut the corners for, for a few pennies. These Bellor buffers are, are the best there is. Now, these are silver, the single speed is gray. And what this is, is a two speed buffer. That's a half horse, and that's a one. Here's 1800 off and 3600. So whatever you have in your hand, when you walk up to this buffer, you can do it. The mantra is this, SS, soft is slow, HH hard is high. Soft means aluminum, other non-ferrous products, brass, silver. Hard is high, that means stainless steel, carbon steel, knife blades, that's your high RPM. Because the rouge bars that you use when you're buffing this stuff, the hard metal particles in the bars are much harder and it takes more mechanical energy, which is higher RPM, to break the rouge bars down to do both the cut and the shine. So that works out good. These, these ends that go on, these are really handy. We came up with these. Threads on there. You can use it on all kinds of stuff. For the bigger machines, we got them both ends. Yeah, because people people were uh, uh, what having to buy two buffers. And I thought I looked at the Balboa catalog and I said, well, why can't we take the compo internal components that are used on a two-speed grinder and make a buffer? All we're doing is extending this shaft out. And here they are. Initially, engineering people at Baldor said no, but with uh, proper persuasion, we convinced them to make them, and we have a priority on these because it was my idea. And uh, we, we let a couple of them go because uh, the three-quarter, a competitor has that, but the problem with that one is it's pretty, pretty uh, weak on the high RPM and uh, it's only $15 less than the one. So go with the, with the horse and That's pretty mean looking. mule. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really, <laughs> really nice piece. Now this is a half, and this is our big seller. These are made in the U.S.? Absolutely. In Arkansas. The pedestals are made in Stony Point, North Carolina. Better than anything that anybody ever. Well, got the wheels ever. on them and everything. Yeah. yeah. The shelf. <laughs> Typical pedestal weighs 55 to 64 pounds. This weighs 93 pounds. It's 3 8 steel. It's got a shelf. You could stand on it and it'll break. We did a lot of little things like drain here when you got dirt and buffing residue all over, you just wash that out and the water drains out of there. It's got rollers so you can push it outside and buff outside, close your garage door instead of having your garage full of buffing residue. Then we even went and put a drain hole in here so you can wash this out because that gets dirty. And then the thing weighs 93 pounds. It just sits there while you buff. And we sell them for $289. And the other commercial stands, pedestals, if you will, are uh, in the 359, 369 range. So we're like $80, $80 under. And this is American. It is not Chinese. And then, of course, it's powder coated, which blows everybody's mind. Well, it's powder coated too. The two. Uh, two horse and of course these are available they go on up to five and on up this is fairly popular in uh, shops that do chrome plating they use this for buffing buffing out stuff and uh, that exact size comes in the two and the three horsepower uh, Baldor and uh, it just does a good job you can't pull it down you can run three or four ten inch three or four ten inch pads What's this cost? 
Well, they're they're normally 19.95, and we we typically sell it for around 1,500. Most certainly more expensive than the Chinese, but you don't replace it every 45 days. There's another thing that we were talking about. We were talking about the buffers and the uniqueness of the Valdor two-speed. We do almost nothing routine standard. This flex shaft, which is incredibly flexible, I didn't like the way they made them with a centered bronze bushing, so I had the company that makes these for us put ball bearings in here, which the guy thought I was totally nuts. What do you need ball bearings for when nobody else has them? Well, that's the way I wanted them because this thing spins so nice and easy. Smooth as silk. It's got ball bearings so you can side load it. It doesn't squeal and screech and do all the nonsense that the centered bronze does. It's got a special uh, center. Go in on that. You can get stuff off of the internet. Uh, can't find it uh, in a distribution area, like a truck stop. We're in some Napa stores, we're in a bunch of uh, Peterbilt.